Leonardo of Pisa is best known for discovering a remarkable recursive sequence and inventing discrete time modeling. Well, actually, he posed one problem about rabbits in a book whose modern printing is over 600 pages long. So if you don't read Latin, the translation is something like the following. How many rabbits can be produced in a year from a pair of rabbits when rabbits mature after one month and begin producing a pair of rabbits each month thereafter? Leonardo's solution begins, in the first month, the original pair produces a pair of immature rabbits, so now there are two pairs. In the second month, the original pair bears another pair, so there are now three pairs. In the third month, two pairs give birth, so there are now five pairs. In the fourth month, three pairs give birth, so there are eight pairs, and so on, ending with 377 pairs at the end of the year. Leonardo tabulates the results in a marginal note, and in a last paragraph, he observes that the terms can be formed by adding two consecutive terms. A much more interesting problem from Leonardo is the following. A man buys 30 birds for 30 denarii, a denarii being a unit of currency. A partridge costs 3 denarii, a pigeon costs 2 denarii, and sparrows are 2 for 1 denaro. Similar problems appeared in Islamic, Indian, and Chinese sources, and Alcuin included some in his Problems to Sharpen the Minds of the Young. But these sources only gave solutions without explaining how they found them. Leonardo not only solved this problem, but gave a clear explanation that could be used on all problems of this type. Leonardo's solution is based on the alloy problems from Book 11 of Liber Abacai. In general, these problems require you to produce an amount of an alloy with a specific concentration from two or more alloys of given concentrations. For example, given an alloy that contains three ounces of silver per pound, and another that contains six ounces of silver per pound, produce ten pounds of an alloy containing five ounces of silver per pound. Or, given three alloys with three, four, and six ounces of silver per pound respectively, produce 20 pounds of an alloy containing 5 ounces of silver per pound. If there are only two different concentrations, there is a unique solution, but with three or more concentrations, there are an infinite number of solutions. Leonardo recognized the bird problem is an alloy problem where the cost per bird is the concentration. Leonardo's solution went through the following steps. First, Leonardo combined the cheapest and most expensive birds to form an alloy that cost one denaro per bird. Trial and error finds a solution. One partridge and four sparrows cost three plus two, five denarii, and so that's five birds for five denarii. Next, Leonardo combined the second most expensive and cheapest birds, the sparrows and pigeons, and again, by trial and error, we find that one pigeon and two sparrows cost two plus one, three denarii. So that's again, three birds for three denarii. Since both alloys, both sets, give one bird for each denaro, then any combination of the sets will also give one bird for each denaro. So we look for a combination of these sets that will give us 30 birds. And so Leonardo used three of the first alloy and five of the second alloy. Leonardo went further and noted the following. One could solve the problem for any number more than 15 birds, say 17 birds for 17 denarii, but for fewer birds, the only solvable situations were 3, 5, 8, 11, or 13 birds for the same number of denarii. 